Greetings, friends. Uh, welcome to another episode of Religion Think. My name is uh, Al Wayman, and this is another video in the series of Hell, Views of the Underworld in Ancient Literature. This is the first section on uh, material out of the Ugaritic texts and uh, from the Canaanites. There's two really good uh, texts or translations into English um, of the Ugaritic li uh, literature. Uh, one is by uh, Cyrus Gordon. It's called um, it's called uh, Ugarit and Minoan Crete, which is an excellent book. And then there's one by uh, David Michael Coogan, uh, Stories from Ancient Canaan. And we're going to be using the uh, text by Coogan because in the back he gives a really excellent um, glossary of names. And we're going to be going through this, and I'll try to find a link if I can of the deities and what order they go in, but we're going to name off some of the important ones. And you're going to see deities of the underworld in this. Some will sound familiar, others will not. Also, you'll be seeing uh, things that are carried over uh, from Canaanite literature into Judaism and also uh, references to other um, deities and monsters uh, from Mesopotamian literature that we already talked about. So starting out is the uh, kind of like the Ishtar goddess. Her name is Anit. Uh, she's the war goddess. She's very violent. Uh, uh, she's uh, love and war and um, she goes on a killing spree uh, in the Baal epic and it's very bloody but um, she threatens El uh, because um, they're trying to get a temple for Baal because he wants to uh, be legitimate. So Anna is Baal's uh, sister. Ashra is the wife of El, um, and she's the uh, goddess or um, mother of the gods. And basically, uh, um, she's uh, basically referred to as uh, she who treads on the sea sometimes. And also, she's talked about a lot in uh, biblical literature. The assembly, the council of the gods, over which El presides. El is the, the head uh, deity, and by the time we get to the Baal epic, he's kind of irrelevant, but they still need to go and ask him uh, for permission for some reason. Astarte, like Anet, uh, she's the goddess of love and war, and she's uh, closely related to Baal. Um, her title is Baal's Other Self. So if you think about the uh, feminine aspect of Baal, it would be Astarte. And then Baal is the Canaanite storm god, rider of the clouds, uh, and he's the central deity of Canaanite belief system. And he's also uh, the warrior, and he has a bunch of different names. And some of these names uh, are associated with the different Baals, or municipalities, or cities that go under his name. Um, Chaser, it's one of Baal's clubs made by Kathor Wahatsis. Let me try that again. Kathor Wahatsis. He's kind of like the car, um, creator deity. Um, he builds things. He makes weapons for Baal when he fights. Um, when he fights Moat or Death. Uh, the Council of El is uh, also another reference to the assemblies of the god. Dagon is Baal's father, uh, which means grain. Um, death, or Moot, is the god of death and uh, pestilence and plague. Moot is also uh, the word for death in Hebrew. And he's also kind of similar to who we've seen before in Mesopotamian literature, Ura, the god of plagues. El's darling, a title of death, of sea, and of desire. Father of Men, this is uh, a title of El. Um, going through here, uh, let's see, healers, gods of the underworlds, prof prof probably uh, deified ancestors who promoted the well-being being of their families. We've seen this going on in Mesopotamian literature and um, discussions in the videos on Enkidu and Gilgamesh. Uh, Holy and Most Blessed One title of Lady Asherah of the Seas Fisherman. Um, Judge River, 
title of C, judge in Ugaritic, also occasionally in the Bible means ruler. The C was thought of as a river which encircled the earth. Also, it goes by the name Yom, and Baal uh, fights Yom in a battle. Uh, Lotan, one of Baal's enemies, uh, it's a huge sea monster. Uh, Mistress of the peoples, a title of Anat. Most High is the title of Baal. Prince is another title of Baal. So there's lots of different names. Rasef, God of Plagues. So he's kind of like Ura. His name means fire. And we already discussed the sea. Uh, serpent, one of Baal's enemies. Probably the manifestation of the sea compared to uh, this. You'll show up in uh, uh, New Testament, uh, Revelation 12, 9. Here's the goddess of healing. Shatak. Shatkat, S-H-A-T-A-Q-A-T, -A -A goddess of healing. Slime, a name for the underworld. Sun, the Canaanite goddess Shapash, or Shapsu, called the god's torch. Um, swamp, name for the underworld. Tally, a daughter of Baal, her name means Dewey, and she's called Maid of Rain. Um, Valiant One is another name of Baal. Um, Zebub, El's daughter, an enemy of Baal, whom Anna claims to have killed. Her name means fly, as in the phrase, Lord of the Flies. So I just, I'll try to find a hierarchy of deities, and that's just a few we'll be running into. And in the next video, we're going to be discussing Baal's trip to the underworld and his fight with death. Why was he fighting death? Where did he go? Who did he take with him? And um, also, if you look at Elijah uh, picking on um, the followers of Baal in, in, in the biblical literature, um, this story comes in handy because it kind of explains what Elijah was talking about and why the people were so upset. Uh, when Baal goes to the underworld to fight death, uh, it's, the rains stop, have droughts, and that's what they, that's what they thought. So we'll be getting into that battle, and we'll be getting into a little bit uh, more about the god Moot. We'll have some descriptions of him, more descriptions of Baal, and what that journey was like, and, and how he came back, and, and how he resurrected, and, and how that happened, and how Anat, his sister, uh, assisted him in winning the battle and fight over death. So, take care, friends, and remember, if everyone's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.